Eric Rodebois. We're gonna do a deeper dive on what collections means. And a lot of times if you're a business owner, you'll, you'll think like, oh, we'll send this to collections. And if you're a consumer and somebody thinks you owe them money, they might threaten you with collections, right? And so what is collections? And so, and by the way, take a little bit deeper dive. My, my law firm mostly focuses on servicing business owners. So what are some of the things you can do and you should do and you can put in place to make collections an easier experience? So first of all, there's really three levels to collections. So level number one is internal. Level number one is, in, I'll use my law firm as an example. We have a billing coordinator. Her job it is to help prepare the invoices. She sends them out, she sends reminders, and then when people don't pay by the deadline, she then sends follow-ups. She might pick up the phone and call them, and all of that is internal. And we might hire another person to help her, and maybe we'll have a whole team of people whose job it is internally to basically call clients, email clients, mail clients, and say, hey, you owe us money, um, let's work out a payment plan or whatever. Now, before we even get to there, you gotta ask yourself, okay, what are the procedures we have on the onboarding process for new clients, right? And so you gotta think, we're starting a relationship with a new stranger person or company. We need to think, okay, what if everything goes wrong? What if I do my work and I do it perfectly and they don't pay me, right? And so now we go back to the beginning, what kind of contract did they sign? Well, if you're like, well, we don't have contracts, well, then your options are gonna be a lot more limited when we get to the collection part. So you need to think about that from the beginning. So, or we have contracts, but we don't really make our clients sign them all the time. Okay, so you've already got the contract, that's great, but now you don't have the system or the discipline or the procedure where all of your team needs to follow the same rules. So in our firm, we have a contract, it's called our engagement letter, and then we have procedures. The work cannot start until we have a signed agreement. And so if the client's like, hey, can you get going? I'll be like, yeah, if you'll sign the agreement. And they're like, no, 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 we'll sign it tomorrow. Can you get started today? I'm like, I'm really sorry. That's against our policies and procedures that's put in place for every one of our clients. We treat everyone the same. I'm happy to get started working. In fact, we'll send it to you again over DocuSign. You can sign it right on your phone, but that way I already have my contract. Okay, so then when we get to the they owe us money part of the story, internal collections part, one of the story is my people are like, hey, as a reminder, you signed our agreement. It says these are the collection terms. You need to pay us, which by the way, let's talk about some collection terms. If you wanna charge interest on the debt that's owed to you, right? Like let's say I send an invoice and I say it's owed net 30. That means 30 days later. Well then 30 days comes and goes. If my contract says I can charge you interest now, I can charge you interest up to the maximum allowable rate under the law, which in Florida is 18% or 1.5% a month. Um, and so if you don't have that language anywhere, you can't charge interest, right? And I see that all the time. I'm like, people are just throwing in interest. I'm like, what gives you the right to charge interest? Like, and by the way, you have no right to charge interest unless it's in a contract. And so now let's, we, we're in phase one. We finally have exhausted. We're, 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 we're like, we're tired. Okay, now we're going to phase two. Phase two, which is optional, because this is an external debt collection company, which is mostly gonna be a non-law firm that does automated reminders. And they're just gonna hound the person, pest them, annoy them, harass them, and they might do X number of phone calls and X number of demand letters and X number of emails until they finally are like, we either collected something where they'll take a percentage or they give up. And usually that's in the contract you sign with them. So let's say I have a bunch of bad debt I hire this collection company, they're gonna want me to give them all those, the, all those invoices, and then whatever they can collect, they get to keep a piece of. Now, again, it's just based off the theory of harassment, and it's not really based on anything else. So now we get to phase three. Now, phase three is when you actually hire a lawyer to sue someone in court, or if your contract has an arbitration clause, which again, going back to the beginning, your contract, and so if your contract has an arbitration clause, you'll be suing them in arbitration, or if it doesn't, you'll be suing them in court. And so now really important things like, do you have a prevailing party attorney's fee clause in your contract, right? Or in your agreement or in your terms and condition. And so again, going back, you need to have a good contract. Then you need to have good procedures. Then you need to have internally your own system. Then you need to decide whether you're going to use one of these outside debt collecting harassment agencies. And then last but not least, are you going to sue your own clients, which is the ultimate decision, right? And that is a law firm, we can either do that in-house or we can outsource it to another law firm. There's pros and cons both ways. But then at that point, we are now engaged in litigation against our former client. 
So hopefully that doesn't happen to any of you. If you have any questions about collections or if any of this didn't make sense or you want me to elaborate or anything else, just leave a comment below and hopefully I'll be able to answer and I hope to talk to you all soon. Thanks.